I'm Michael Batiste. I'm a pro staff team member for Bowtech Archery. Today I'm here at Dead on Archery in Meridian to do a review of the RPM 360, which is one of two new flagship bows that Bowtech came out with this year. Uh, you know, specs on the RPM 360. It is a six inch brace height. Uh, draw is in adjustable anywhere from 24 inches out to 30 inches. It's available in 50, 60, and 70 pound limb options. Uh, the cool thing about this is it has an IBO rating of 360 feet per second. This is the fastest bow that Bowtech has ever came out with. You know, the another nice thing, because of the way they designed this, not only are you getting a lot of speed, but you're getting a lot of kinetic energy. Um, this bow has kinetic energy right about 100.7 feet per second. Um, it's 31 inches axle to axle, 80% effective let off, and it weighs 4.4 pounds. So, great little package. It comes standard in Mossy Oak Infinity Finish. Uh, you do have the option to get Black Ops, Real Tree All Purpose, and Real Tree All Purpose Green. All right, let's get into the features of the RPM 360. Uh, you know, Bowtech came out with a lot of industry changing technologies on this bow, and it all starts with the aluminum trapezoidal I beam riser. Um, this design basically provides strength and really balances the bow nicely. Uh, from there, we move on up into the uh, bridge lock uh, pockets. Uh, what they basically do is lock in and secure the limbs, and that helps with precision and accuracy. Uh, moving on over into the CPX which is center pivot extreme. Uh, what this does is, is redefines your accuracy and really uh, helps terminate riser or torque on the riser. Uh, from there, move into the carbon core limbs. Uh, this process with carbon core limbs basically adds efficiency and durability to the limbs. And then we get into the overdrive binary cam system with the RPM cams. Uh, these cams, it's the way this is designed, it's designed for cam stability and really gives you a smooth draw cycle. The other nice thing about this is the synchronization of the cams really, really gives you a lot of tunability with this bow. Then we get into the flex guard riser. Uh, the advantage of the flex guard riser is it actually eliminates riser torque through the draw cycle and also eliminates that lateral knock travel when you release the arrow, which again increases your accuracy on this. Uh, we have the Bioshock system. There are three different sets of the Bioshock system. They are an extreme dampening system to take that vibration out of the bow, which provides for a nice, quiet shot. And then, you know, another thing that they came out with, and they've had this for a couple of years, is the rotating modules. You know, we talked about this bow being adjustable from 24 inches out to 30 inches. The cool thing is with these rotating modules is you can adjust those draw lengths without having to put this bow in the press. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shoot through the graph. Uh, we've got the draw set up at 29 inches with a 424 green arrow. seven feet per second. Okay, so now we're going to do it again. Uh, again, 29 inches draw, 354 green arrow. <laughs> 332 feet per second. All right, so we've gone through the specs, we've gone through the features, and you know we even shot the bow through the through the chronograph. Uh, Bowtech did a tremendous job with the RPM 360. Uh, you know, I've shot speed bows in the past, and the downfall with them is during the draw cycle, you have that increase. It just gets heavier, 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 and then it's a sharp break at the peak, and it just really falls over really, really hard. With this design, it, nice, nice, smooth draw cycle. Get to Dead on Archery or your local Bowtech dealer and check out the RPM 360 and all the advancements that Bowtech has made on this bow for 2014. Thanks for watching.